Hey everyone, if you're tuning in for the first time, my name is Jeff from Spectator Behavior. I'm doing videos on college football, combination trips on all 14 weeks of FBS and FCS schools. As of now, I'm doing the first week of games for Division 2 and Division 3. <laughs> Just depends on uh, a couple things. So, I wanted to include Division 2 and Division 3 because like the FCS, they don't get the credit they deserve. And there isn't as much hype or coverage for how good the football is, how fun some of the games can be. In this video, I'm going to focus on Division II college football combination trips. All the times are going to be in Eastern time zone. These videos will be focused from Thursday, September 5th through Saturday, September 7th. However, a lot of games are still to be determined. As I've mentioned before, my interest for this uh, was really sparked when I went to the Alabama, Georgia State, Mississippi State, LSU game in the same day. Going from Tuscaloosa to Starkville for two games was phenomenal. We're going to start this episode off with an ambitious trip. I hope you're excited. So Thursday, 6.30 p.m., Gannon at Southern Connecticut State at Jess Dow Field. Then drive three hours north to St. Anselm for Friday night's game at 6 p.m. between California, Pennsylvania at St. Anselm. Then, drive two hours north to Springfield, Massachusetts for the 12 p.m. game between Bowie State at American International. This is three quality college football games on a smaller scale and a fun road trip adventure as well. Now, power eye tip for you. You could actually continue your trip and drive an hour and a half to Gillette Stadium for the Steelers Patriots game in Foxborough on Sunday night. Or you could go to Fenway for the Red Sox Yankees game if you're willing to pay a decent amount of money for it. Hey, if you're liking this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Straight like that. Straight like that, man. Now, a more practical trip starts off Thursday at 7 p.m. with Winston-Salem at UNC Pembroke. Then you have a day to hang out south of the borders close by, which is a roadside attraction off I-95. You could go there. It's a cool area to hang out for the day. Then Saturday, drive a little less than an hour to Fayetteville State for Benedict College at Fayetteville State for a 6 p.m. matchup on Saturday. Other practical trip combinations are Thursday, Bumiji State at Northern State starting at 7 p.m., then drive three hours southwest to Southwest Minnesota State for the Minnesota State versus Southwest Minnesota State game at 7 p.m. Or after the Bumiji State at Northern State game, you could travel three hours to the Upper Iowa at Augustana game. Which is a good practical trip to go to. Another very practical trip possibility is to go to Colorado Mesa at South Dakota Mines. Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern Time, then drive 55 minutes north that same day to Spearfish for the Chardon State at Black Hill State game. This is going to be a close call to get to both games, but I think, I think it can be done. There's about a five-hour difference between games, which gives you enough time to swing two games in a day. Even if you're a little late, arrive into that 8 p.m. game at the at Black Hill State question of the video do you prefer to go to two games or less or more than two games if you could choose also if you like this video go ahead and subscribe to my page for free straight like that straight like that man right next Tuesday for the FBS and FCS week 2 videos